Ben Carson is in the sunken place. One man with total control of billions of people's stolen data. All their secrets, their lives, their futures. I owe it all to Spectre. Whoa, I never thought we'd hear them say that. Well, that's because they never actually did say any of those things. These are deep fakes. In the last few years, digital technology has advanced to the point where we can drastically alter how anything seems online. You can think of deep fakes as Photoshop videos, but there's a lot more to it than that. Deep fakes use artificial intelligence to teach machines how to react read and mimic people's facial expressions and voices. This is done by providing the machine with actual photos, videos, and voice samples of the person. The more data you provide the machine with, the better it is able to learn. The system is then able to generate a completely fictional video of that person. This is done in two ways. The first is where the deepfake is created of a person using another actor. The machine learns how to encode or process the data from both videos and finds similarities between the two. It then compresses this data and through a decoding process, it swaps the information of both the videos. So while you see and hear the voice of this person, the information you're actually receiving is that of the actor. The other way in which deepfakes are created is using a generative adversarial network, or GAN. And here's what it does. AI algorithms are used to create a synthetic image out of noise, which are then added to a stream of real images. When this is processed multiple times over and over, you get realistic faces of non-existent people. This system is also able to generate convincing voice clones or voice skins that can speak in the exact voice of the person featured in a video. Basically, we now have the power to create convincing videos of people saying and doing pretty much anything we want. It can be politicians addressing their voters or actors delivering dialogues for their audiences. Seeing is believing is simply not true anymore. And this has huge ramifications for many different aspects of our lives. As this technology keeps improving, it's become easier and easier to use. In fact, some of it is even possible from the palm of your hand with apps that allow you to create shallow fakes. Take for instance, apps like Zao, FaceApp, Avatarify, Reface, Deepface Lab, and MyHeritage, which gives you videos like this. It's actually quite fun. Now, while manipulated images are all around us, creating shallow fakes takes relatively less effort and investment than a convincing deep fake that requires high-end systems with powerful graphics cards or computing power off of a cloud-based system. Well, now that we know how deep fakes are created, what can we do with them? Deep fakes have huge implications for things like fake news around the world. Deepfake videos of people in power or a fake incident or an encounter can be used to manipulate public opinion, pull off scams, tamper with elections, or even in its extreme, incite violence. Take the case of deepfake videos that circulated just before the 2020 Delhi elections of BJP President Manoj Tiwari, speaking to voters in English, Hindi, and Haryana. greetings to all. Friends, I'm here just to ask about the work accounted for. Sarya ne mera Jai Sri Ram. Dosto, main sirf kaam ka hisab lehen aya sun. Deepfakes have also been weaponized against women by morphing their faces into pornography and makes acts of revenge porn easier for perpetrators. This was unfortunately one of the earliest applications of this kind of tech. Back in 2017, when a Reddit user had morphed the faces of celebrities like Taylor Swift and Scarlett Johansson on porn actors. A study done by Deep Trace in September 2019 found that a staggering 96% of deepfake videos were pornographic and 99% of those mapped faces from female celebrities on to porn stars. Is the future with deepfakes entirely this dark? Well, maybe not. If used responsibly, deepfake videos have some rather interesting applications. Celebrity ad and awareness campaigns are now possible to create at the click of a button. Like this malaria awareness ad featuring David Beckham speaking in nine languages, when he actually speaks just one of them. It's the deadliest disease there's ever been. Se dice que ha matado más de la mitad de la población que ha existido. Billion million tan murit kwe. Wa ma zala taqtulu tiflan kull daqiqatayn. Mais nous pouvons y mettre fin. Nous savons comment, nous en avons la possibilité. Ame aur adhik karvai ki zarurat hai. This allowed for messages to be communicated to far wider audiences around the globe. Entire influencer personalities can be created online using deepfakes. According to some, they could even compete with the likes of Kim Kardashian. 
In the entertainment industry, characters can be played by the same actor across the series regardless of the time that has elapsed between the movies, how the actor has aged and possibly even after the actor's death. Take for instance this creation of Linda Carter who played Wonder Woman in the 70s, now playing the role in the 2017 movie that otherwise featured Gal Gadot. Now what use deep fakes are put to only time will tell and only a few countries in the world are beginning to bring in some legislation to regulate their misuse but until these are put into full force how do we tell the real from the fake early deep fakes didn't blink normally according to certain researchers but ways were soon discovered to counteract this as the quality of the output started to improve poor quality deep fakes are obviously easier to spot the lip syncing might be bad or the skin tone might be patchy they can be flickering around the edges of the faces and the fine details such as hair or badly rendered jewelry and teeth those can all be giveaways strange lighting effects and reflection on the iris are also telling signs In fact on one hand people are developing technology that creates deep fakes but on the other hand investments are also being made into tech to detect these videos companies like DeepTrace and the AI Foundation's Reality Defender are stepping up their game to make the digital world a safer place the deep fake detection challenge was also started backed by Microsoft Facebook and Amazon blockchain technology could also be employed to build a virtual record of any video Basically it's an online ledger system that could hold a tamper proof record of videos pictures and audio so that their origins and any manipulation can always be checked using this technology means the video evidence of something does not guarantee that it really happened and people can use that to suit their means in all kinds of ways it does mark a significant shift in how we will see and understand the world around us in the future so what do you think a future filled with deep fakes holds for us let us know in the comments Hey guys, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. The kinds of videos we want to make are to ask fun and compelling questions, explore weird and intriguing stories and delve into secret histories. So if that's something you're interested in, this is the channel for you. Don't forget to tell us what you like in the comments.